good morning. Good morning. Where are you from, by the way, Ale? I'm from Martinique, French island, French Caribbean island. Okay, great. And, um, you know, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you. Uh, my name is uh, Alan Bidard, and uh, I'm uh, I'm a filmmaker. I'm an animation film director uh, from the Caribbean, and um, I I have 22 years of ex ex experience. Um, I studied in France, uh, and I got my degree there. But I came back um, to Martinique. Um, initially, because I wanted to, to, it was supposed to be um, a stop before United States, and finally I stayed in Martinique and made a major part of my career there. And uh, I started making uh, short films and, and um, uh, advertisement. And after that, more and more, I started making. Uh, all the type of uh, film and um, feature, uh, like the one that I got uh, in those last 10 years. Okay. So you studied animation in France? Yes, yes. In, uh, in a school um, called Superfocom. Back in the day, it, it was called Superfocom. To, today, it's called Rubica. It's... Um, Back in the day, it was the second. It, it was uh, the second best school in Europe. Today, I don't know. I think they're still very good, but I don't know if they still have this position. But um, they they expanded, and um, and uh, I was really lucky to get to this school because uh, the selection is really really um, really difficult. Uh. Okay, so, all right, we are here today to talk about, you know, your career in animation. You say you have 22 years of experience. Um, most people would know you for Battle Dream Chronicles. Um, was that your first, you know, animation like your, not excluding commercials and so that your first independent animation or did you do shorts before that? That was my first feature film, uh, first an, an, an animated feature film. Uh, not my first film. <laughs> I, I made uh, um, uh, other film, short film, documentaries, and um, a lot of uh, commercial, um, um, not advertising, but uh, uh, public uh, public announcement film. Um, okay, okay. So you did animated documentaries? Not animated. Some well, there were some parts animated, but um, most of the do of the documentary I had to do were in live action, because um, well, that was what paid yeah. to be. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, that was interesting to to learn live live action too, because um, well, there's a side of live action that is interesting to know when you make animation. Okay. All right, so what made you decide to do Battle Dream Chronicles? Um, initially, um, I have always wanted to tell stories. And uh, when I get to Mount, when, when I got to Martinique, I start making um, a lot of small, small animation films. Uh, but um, after that, it was enough for me to, it was bringing enough money for me to make a living. And uh, that allowed me to split my year in, in half. And I was spending half uh, this year in collaborating and uh, uh, per personal project. And more and more, um, the idea of, um, first, it, it was supposed to be a, a series. And I tried to sell this to broadcasters, to uh, the local theater, to other people. And I tried to find sponsorship. I was working with other people back in back in the day. And uh, but all of this failed. Uh, I was trying to find partners too, but it was really difficult because a lot of them did not believe 
it was really in interesting and more and more um i in the process of trying to find uh partners i had to create more episodes so it was uh well it was a five minute episode so i create one episode two two episodes and um after that um i think that uh, we had three episodes um i definitely uh, told myself that uh, okay if i'm going to do every episode <laughs> before uh, succeeding to to get someone to agree to to help me um, maybe I can try to get uh, the biggest part of it uh, done so 80% and then came back to the sponsor and show show him or her that it was possible and we need a completion full and uh, um, this project that start that has a series um expanded into what um battle Rim chronicle would become and if you don't mind me asking you in the process of creating that 80 percent was it you by yourself or was it you on a team initially i wanted a team uh, but uh, the problem the first problem was finding people because most of people left the island because it was more profitable to work in in france or in um, north america and uh, the second problem was money because uh, uh, generally when artists work on feature film they, uh, they have a certain there is a certain level of, of of income that they expect to get and um, without funding it's not possible to 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 give them what they ask so um i was forced to do it myself i didn't know every part which is the reason why i wanted a team uh i was strong in some 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 discipline uh but there are things that i didn't know very well for example the rigging um when you you create the 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 um, the skeleton of the virtual skeleton of the character uh, i was not strong in the rigging i was not strong in scripting um uh, compositing was definitely not my thing um so there were a lot of things where i um uh, i was lacking but i had to learn all of all of those and i found out that even when you don't know how to do something if you do this thing 1000 times it finally um you 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 end up by by knowing how to do it and um even if you're not good at it so that was mostly the, the process that helped me to get this 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 film uh, done but initially i didn't know every part um i i i, I was strong in this not ready to tackle something so big hmm, understood understood and that's amazing that even without a team and the experience and the knowledge going in you still were committed enough to continue so that's great and that's wow so you got so, to the 80 percent oh go ahead oh no i was gonna ask uh, him how long did it take to do battle dream chronicles and uh, how did he stay motivated to 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 you know, keep at it all over those many years. How long did it take? Uh, at first, when I started, I didn't know because there was, that was the first Martinican film, uh, the, the first Martinican animation feature film. Um, I didn't know there were all the uh, an animated feature film in the Caribbean. So I really had nobody to ask how uh, what kind of difficulties I'm going to meet. So um, it was really di um, discovery after discovery. It was really a battle for the motivation to, to stay there. Um, but the problem is not at the beginning. I'm going to say that um, the, 50, the first 50% of the film, generally you are, you are motivated. 
um, from 50% to 75%. Um, what's happening? Because, uh, well, I suppose that it's uh, it's something that's, ha that's happening in, in picture of him because in Opal, it's, it's happened too. Um, from 50% to 70%, you, uh, as I have done 50% before, there are a lot of things that improved. So the picture I was producing when I, I get to the 50% are different from what I, I was producing uh, when I was starting. So uh, there are parts that I start to redo, uh, parts that I need to, uh, to update in order to, to have uh, some cons con consistency in the entire fi feature film. And by 75%, um, it really gets out of hand. Um, there, is, there is so much, so, 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 so much modification to do that it's, it's become really, 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 um, it, it's, it's really easy to, to say, I give up. Um, so this, this 75% to the ending of the film is the most difficult. Um, I think that I went to depression. <laughs> there is a part when I was working depressed. Um, it's really, really mentally and psychologically hard to go through. Um, at first I didn't know. So I, there was a moment I wanted to give up and I, I just kept going. Um, but it was, it was like, if it would never end. Uh, and that is really something about that part. Um, but finally, um, I succeeded to to finish. Um, it took it took a long it took it it, it took longer than the fifty to seventy five percent. Um, but that that the the ending is a battle. It 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 it's a battle to 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 finish. In the last five percent, you start seeing the bigger picture. So you start seeing the film with the music and everything. So you 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 become motivated by the result. But before that, there is a, some dark place <laughs> where you have to go. You have to move forward because it's really it's really a difficult time. I got the same. It's the same thing for Opal, so um, I guess that um, it's 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 a matter of uh, I I believe that by fifty percent you 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 find you find the voice of of the film because every film has their own voice and when you when you start you 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 generally base yourself on uh, your reference but uh, by fifty percent you find your voice. So I guess that this is the reason why there is this uh, this kind of, of workflow and uh, uh, but the journey is about that.